I'm just gonna... <laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday and you're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show where it's Tuesday and I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, hi. I didn't see you there. I was having a moment to myself and you caught me off guard. It's 2022. It's been two years since we uploaded a Tasty Tuesday on this channel. I didn't mean for that much time to go by, but I also wasn't sure if I was ever going to do Tasty Tuesday again. So there's there's that. I'm about to talk for quite a period of time. So if you're here for the cooking, you can just skip to this timestamp right here. But I feel like I owe you like some sort of intro that's like, hey, it's been a while. What's up? How's your mom? We're in Vegas now. We don't no longer live in Los Angeles. We live here in Las Vegas. This in this kitchen is in Las Vegas right now. I feel grown up, but I also kind of feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Like I feel like this is like the parents' kitchen. When are the parents coming home? This isn't my kitchen. A lot of people have requested for Tasty Tuesday to come back. 2020 was crazy. Google demonetized my channel back in 2020 for selling firearms. I've never sold firearms. I don't even know where to even buy wholesale firearms to make a profit selling firearms. I, I'm not, I don't do that, I've never done it, but I couldn't prove that I didn't do it. So they just kept demonetizing my channel. And then when they remonetized it, nothing was going to anyone's subscription boxes. So I just stopped posting here, except for our podcast, which I hope you still listen to. It's called Sure They Don't Tell You. I have been posting on my vlog channel. I don't know if you know I have a vlog channel, but I post my daily life there. It's youtube.com slash Nikki. Really easy to remember. I restarted my jewelry line since the last time we talked. And I'm also like really sexy now. Like, I don't know if I'm just like really, really sexy and I hope that it doesn't offend anybody. So I feel like we're in a new chapter, a new beginning, and therefore this is Tasty Tuesday 2.0. <laughs> Welcome back. You did this. So we're making bread today. We're just, we're making bread, okay? You're gonna watch a woman drink wine in her kitchen, her, someone's kitchen, and make, try to make bread. We're all just trying to make bread to feed the family. At least we're all just trying. Someone's trying way too hard. Hi, we should probably get started on that wine. This particular recipe is a plant-based brioche. Brioche bread is a French bread, a French vegan couple that came up with this recipe. It's from theconsciousplantkitchen.com. I'll put a link in the description, but this bread looked really delicious and it's the kind of bread that I would like in my mouth. Let's make this dish. Step one, take your really cute bakeware and cookware out. This is like another reason that I wanted to bring back Tasty Tuesday is because one, look at this kitchen. It would be a really big shame not to do a Tasty Tuesday here. And two, I got new cookware and I want people to see it because it's cute. And this is just to warm some soy milk. I know, when was the last time you got soy milk? I have not had soy milk in years. So we want this milk to be lukewarm to feed the yeast that we're about to put into it. How much do we need? One and one fourth cup of soy milk. I don't need to yell, I'm wearing a microphone. It's habit because of the old way that Tasty Tuesday used to be, but now we're really sexy. So instead of yelling, I'm just gonna seduce. One and one fourth cup of lukewarm soy milk. I can't do this the whole episode. I'm sorry, I'm not sexy anymore. I'm so sorry. Where's that wine? That should have been the first step. What are we even doing? Whose cabinets are these? What did I say? One and one fourth cup. Okay. I love this cookware. Not sponsored, but caraway. Bro, sis, have you have you even tried it? Have you tried to make sentences before? Even? Okay, so we don't want it to be boiling. We just want it to be like bath water warm. If it boils, it will kill the yeast. No murder in this house. That's my one rule. See, I gotta start being strict because I'm the parent that lives here. No murdering. Okay, I think everyone understands. Oh, the wine. I think I'm nervous, you know? It's my first time doing Tasty Tuesday in two years. What if our relationship isn't the same, you know? I hope we still like each other. I, I forgot how to drink wine. Okay, soy milk, vanilla, and melted vegan butter. Oh, oh, it's like bath water. It's way past bath water warm. Okay, you're just gonna have to chill for a second. I'm sorry, I was not monitoring that. Now it says to put the following ingredients into the bowl of a mixing Stand mixer mixing bowl. I haven't used a stand mixer in forever. The band's back together. The warmed milk that we just did. One third cup melted vegan butter. Or regular butter if you want, but this is a vegan recipe. Oh, we should take our rings off. I'm gonna microwave this. I just thought about how I could have just warmed it in my caraway pot. 
like I did with the milk, but I didn't think of that. So that's the whole story. Tasty Tuesday 2.0. She knows what she's doing. She's making choices and she's confident about them. Where's my wine? Okay, found it. Stop yelling. Okay, not all of it melted yet. Making choices. Feeling good. I don't know if you play poker, but if you do, I've been playing a lot more poker on my blog channel. You should check it out. YouTube.com slash Nikki. I don't drink when I play, therefore I haven't been drinking very much. So this is a rare occasion. I think I'll only drink for Tasty Tuesday and date nights. Stop. Seriously, stop. It's a, it's abuse. It's violence. Stop. And we're gonna add that to our milky bowl. Cute. Sugar. Oh, we need sugar. One fourth cup sugar. Oh my God. Stop. Seriously, I think that my kitchen is trolling me because it never acts like this. What you're watching. Stop. Guys, you're embarrassing me. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. Teaspoons? Yes. Teaspoon. I feel like our, our milk is not gonna be as warm as we want it after all this. Two teaspoons. Also one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now I think we're ready to add the yeast. Two and one fourth teaspoon of dry active yeast. I got this fast rising instant dry yeast. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to get, but that's what we got. Whisk quickly with a fork to combine and set aside 10 minutes. Oh, a fork. Why would we whisk? Could we whisk with a whisk? Why does it say a fork? Oh my God. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Got a whisk prepared and everything. Okay, whisk quickly. Whisk with a fork, not a whisk. Don't be stupid. Set aside 10 minutes. Oh, there's a lot of yeast on my fork. Oh, get off. Alexa, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, my Alexa told me, and she's really smart. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our yeast mixture, which looks disgusting. Honestly, ew, how do you look at yourself in the mirror? I try not to judge, but like, it's really ugly looking. Our bread looks really bad so far. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our stand bowl mixture and we're gonna put it into our mixer, oh my gosh. I haven't used this since this guy in so long. Hi, how have you been? How is your mom? Let's open you up. Oh wow, oh, stop, stop. Oh my God, everything in my kitchen's dramatic. And we're gonna use a dough hook attachment. Whose idea was it to have a microphone? Sift in flour and salt into the bowl. I think I'm, I'm gonna sift before. I tried, I tried, I'm trying. Okay, I'm sifting, I'm sifting. I don't know if you can see, uh, see me sift. Watch me sift. Now watch me Dougie. I'm not gonna Dougie, I will spare you. Okay, now use, we're using the dough hook and we're gonna put it on level two. Six minutes. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes. God, we're so sexy this year. I don't even understand it. Okay, hi, it's been six minutes and I just turned the stand mixer off. It says that your dough should be kind of tacky but not sticking to the bottom of the bowl. Like us, kind of tacky but not like super sticky. Just a little bit sticky. Then it says that we have to oil a large mixing bowl with Vegetable oil or coconut oil. I have olive oil. I think that was one of the options too, hopefully. We're going to transfer this slightly tacky dough ball, but not too sticky, into this mixing bowl. And we're gonna cover it with a dish towel. It says to do a parchment paper and then a dish towel, but I've done this before and you can just do a dish towel. Like it's being really extra right now. So we're just gonna do a dish towel and um, what we want it to do is double in size, but you can just keep it in a warm room. Maybe I'll put it in front of the fireplace. Dish towel. I have a fireplace. That's cool. You don't care. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. I'm gonna go over here. Here we go. We're back, it's been 45 minutes. That was way too long. I had to get unbearably sexy. Dude, putting it next to the fireplace did work. It did double in size. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of very turned on. Grow up. It says to sprinkle a bit of flour on the top of the dough and push down with your hand to deflate and release gas. <laughs> Grow up. Seriously, it's Tasty Tuesday 2.0. We're mature. Okay, releasing <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do some braiding. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our dough and knead it, and then I'm going to want it, and then I'm going to love it. Just kidding. I'm gonna knead it, and then I'm going to split it into three pieces and roll them into cylinders. Like, what's the point of letting it grow if we're just gonna knead it again? I just, I don't see the point. I don't think I need right. Like, it's not my love language to knead. I need for not. I don't know. Help me out here, bakers. I think that's fine. Ball number one. I'm just gonna 
roll it like this to nine inch cylinders. Yeah, that feels right. Nine inches for sure. I think it needs to be more than nine inches to like really braid this, really? That's the best we can do. All we can do is the best we can do. Come on. I braided you so beautifully. Just pinch right. I wanna taste this dough, is that wrong? I did it. It's all right. Cover a nine inch loaf pan. This is part of my caraway set too. Oiled parchment paper and bring the braided brioche to the pan. Okay, I got my parchment. Oil this bad boy up. Oiled parchment. Ugh, you are a mess. Not much oil. Just a little bit. No one tells you how to do this stuff. Bring the braided brioche into the pan. It's like a lot of parchment paper. Cover the pan with a clean kitchen towel and place in a warm room or preheated oven for 30 to 40 more minutes until the dough rises. Oh my God, why does this recipe take forever? I thought I was making a really simple recipe, but you just, you have to have a lot of time and patience and warm rooms. It's cold in Vegas, did you know? It's, Alexa, what's the temperature? It's 50 degrees. A low of 33 degrees. A low of 30, it snowed the other day. Okay, I guess I'm gonna light my fireplace again. Wait for this dough to rise again. Even Jesus only needed to rise once. Like, who are you, dough? Who are you, dough? The audacity. Fireplace time. Here we go. We're back. It's been 40 minutes and we are at peak sexiness right now. Oh yeah, by the way, our dough did really get big again. Like, how did it get big again? That's what she asked. <laughs> Grow up, we're at 2.0, okay? I have a mixture of one tablespoon of melted vegan butter and like a little bit of turmeric sprinkled on it. And what we have here is like a faux egg wash. And it's really just like to give it some color on top so it looks like brioche, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna brush it lightly over top of yonder. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh la la, it's gonna look so brioche -y. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I think we've um, egg washed all we can. Oh, perfect timing. Think, stop yelling, seriously. We're gonna put this in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Yes, it's a long time, it's a long road to make bread. If you want bread for your family, go to the grocery store or have lots of time on your hands. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes. See you soon. Did you get a boner? I'm so sorry. Okay, hello, we're back. It's been 35, it's actually been 42 minutes. I think we're at a parallel level of sexiness. Take out your brioche bread when you see it being golden brown or after 35 to 45 minutes. Mine is a nice, wonderful golden brown. So I think it's ready, um, but I just read that it needs to be flipped out of the pan and put on a cooling rack for two hours or overnight. I thought this cook time said one hour. I thought I was picking a really nice, easy, simple, fast recipe. It takes time and hard work to make bread for your family. Also, I think I'm just supposed to show off of all of my cookware. I got this cooling rack from my caraway set and I haven't used it yet. This is a baking pan, but then you, it's stored with the cooling rack. So it's like stored like this and then you flip it over and voila, now the baking pan catches crumbs while you wait for your items to cool. How about that? I've never been this fancy in my life. This is like the chicest, sexiest that I've ever been. Does it stay on the parchment? No, right? Right? No. Here it is. Woo! We did it. We made a bread. We can't slice it yet. But tomorrow, we shall see if it's tasty from the Tasty Tuesday man himself in the flesh and blood. See you in the morning. That was meant to be a transition, but then I talked after. Well, I didn't plan for things to be this way our first episode back, but here we are. Maximum sexiness. Good morning. So we finally get to cut this bread and see if it, in fact, is tasty. It was really hard not to cut into it last night. I feel personally that this may be better warm because it's, it's rather, it's hard now. I don't know. I'm not really confident about it. Let's just put it that way. But it smells really good. I'm just gonna... That's not the sound you're supposed to make. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cut this. 
We'll see, oh, I'm really curious. Oh my gosh, it's so crumbly. Maybe I cooked it too long. Oh, it's not too bad in the center. Shut up, it's not bad. When I was at 35 minutes in the oven, I wasn't sure if it was completely the right golden brown because in the picture of this recipe, hers was much more brown. So I left it in for 10 minutes longer, but I honestly think I probably could have taken it out at 35 minutes. Nevertheless, it's not hard inside, so that's good. It's just got a hard outer crust. Okay, let's see if it's tasty. Hello. Hi. I've made bread. I heard. Welcome back to Tasty Tuesday. Thank you. I, I have a show to promote now. Can I, do I get to plug my show? Oh uh, no. Let's see if this is tasty. Okay. It's brioche bread. Brioche bread? Brioche, yes. What's brioche bread again? <laughs> it's just bread. What am I supposed to be tasting? <laughs> it's bread. Does it taste like bread? You just made fucking bread? That's what you did for <laughs> your first Tasty Tuesday back? Yeah. Why? I didn't want to complicate things. <laughs> well, it sure looks complicated in our sink, bud. Yeah, it does, bud. Good lord. Good lord. Also, you sent me to the store like three times. Yeah, I forgot ingredients. Uh, so not complicated for you. Listen, I'm just trying to make bread for my family. Okay, all right. Right back at you. Right back at you. Right back at you. Right back at you. No, seriously, right back at you. Is it tasty, asshole? It's tasty, but you know what? Look. It's tasty. It's, little, it's tasty. It's a little safe. It's a little safe. Listen, okay. I didn't want to be overcomplicate things on my first time back. You ever watch Iron Chef and they're like, it's just too safe. Have you seen how sexy I am right now? That's too much for people. You were going to ask me about my ball shirt. <laughs> it's a really comfortable pajama it's a classic. shirt. That's good. Well, I mean, sure, it's tasty, but it's a little safe, and I'm yes. a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed yes. in you. I mean, yes. I thought you were going to tell me this is made out of like. Egg butter or something weird like that I've never heard of in my no, life. No, it's just bread. <laughs> Here's what actually sucks about this that you guys aren't in on that I'm in on. Okay. So Nikki would not tell me what she was making for Tasty Tuesday. <laughs> she like spiced this thing up. She, and by the way, it took her two weeks to film it. She thought she was filming this two weeks ago. So she like built this thing up like from Super Bowl weekend till now. She's like, I'm not telling you what we're making for Tasty Tuesday. <laughs> she like gives me all these ingredients. I go to the store and I'm like, what the hell could she be making? I have no idea. I'm like, maybe she has a bunch of stuff that I'm not aware of that's already in the fridge. And I'm like, all right, all right, this would be pretty interesting. I wonder what she's gonna make. And it's fucking bread. And I'm like, is it made out of anything? You're like, this is bread. <laughs> Unbelievable. Does it taste like bread? Is it a tasty it's bread? It's bread, but dude. Is it a tasty bread? <laughs> Semi-yellow bread is a very strange endeavor it's indeed. egg wash. Very strange. Anyway, it is good. But it's bread. All right, so welcome back to Tasty Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Also, check out my vlog channel because I do post regularly over there. Uh, YouTube.com slash Nikki. Um, I don't know if this is going to be... A regular thing again. I'm kind of scared of commitment, so like maybe it's an every other week thing. Um, maybe we'll make like other breads um, <laughs> soon. So <laughs> subscribe so you don't miss any of this. Uh, check out my jewelry line too. And uh, Steve, what do you want to plug? Okay, so I, uh, this is awesome. I finally, I finally have a show to plug. So I have a show called Crypto Corner.